Brady Kyo. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. We've Jonathan came in to join us in studio today, as well as Phil as always. Thanks very much for coming on, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Jonathan. Yeah, so um, we're here to talk about the Ireland versus Moldova game. Ireland 2, Moldova 0. Job done, yeah. Job done, three points. Yeah, I mean, we, we, didn't, we weren't waiting too long for the first goal. Uh, Daryl Murphy. Again, Stephen Ward. Just know he's always throwing in fairness. Yeah, he mm. he's done well. He had a good first half. Morphed into Rory's lap. Yeah, he yeah. is. Yeah. I think I think it's just since he's cut that kind of little fringy <laughs> high going, but um no, he linked up him and Callum O'Dowda where bright sparks always linking up when obviously the fullbacks pushed up, I thought that's when we were most threatening. Uh, and of course the throw in led to the early goal, Daryl Murphy. Uh we picked him. Yeah. In our preview, anyway, so uh, it paid dividends. So. He, must have, he must have been listening. He was in form, in fairness, yeah. and he deserved he deserved his um, his start. To be honest with you, and justified. And Absolutely, it, 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 as well two as great goals. In two fairness goals. to Duffy, <coughs> he was a nuisance for that goal. He kind of got a bit of a flick on. Was, he kind yeah. of got himself just stuck in there. I'm not sure. Does, yeah. he, does he get a hockey assist to whatever? <coughs> but he definitely got a. You know, he came off his back. He kind of he got got the ball towards the goal, and it was. Um, if you're being super critical, like we we look on the positives, but the, the keeper thought she'd done a lot better for. Oh, yeah, yeah, we won't complain. Yeah, we won't complain. He made contact. He got into goal. He got the goal, and look, that was the start we needed. Um, you know, the the, the longer the games like that go on, when it's scoreless. Um, the yeah, the more yeah, the more the, you hear the atmosphere start to get yeah. edgy, and you you can you can kind of feel the tension in the ground. Um, and he's I suppose the only negative talking points you could have is we didn't it was like you know we didn't even come out in the second no. half it, just, yeah. it was it was literally well, like, we'll come on to that uh, later on we, I suppose we'll get into the the second goal because there wasn't much all, much else going on in the game obviously no. where if you get in again again Ward I'd argue that he should have two, two assists if not he was involved with both goals yeah. and as yeah. much stick as uh, Steve likes to give him he's not here at the moment Steve <laughs> but um, as much stick as uh, the Sam Knowledge likes to give Ward he did do well uh, he was involved in both goals. Was a great cross. I, I'm usually uh, critical of his crossing, yeah. uh, because normally when he's when he gets to a certain point up the field and he b- gets past the midfielder, he's overlap and he just head down. Yeah, he's strikes always head down. Doesn't really pick anyone. He picked out Murphy, and it was I watched it back again today. It was inch perfect header. Yeah, like he just like yeah. If ever a kid wanted to watch how to head a ball, yeah. where it's c- coming from. Yeah, yeah, it was brilliant. it was one of those like when you're watching it, it kind of was in slow motion because in real life it was yeah yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, and I was uh, it hasn't really got a, a lot of attention but I thought Odada's um, run inside to pull the defender away was excellent yeah that, and that and we'll probably talk about him a, a bit more later on but that's the type of intelligence that I like to see in a player that that, that for me shows a player that's going to get to the top because you know it's it's away from the old cliche run down get chalk on your boots sometimes it's all about running inside and the, the, the ball from Wes is brilliant yeah. and you know oh, yeah, War, Ward is coming in and he's nearly gassed to be fair but he still gets the ball back and it, I was kind of watching it and it, it was like slow motion you're like oh god he's never going to yeah, get even enough even the way it floated into yeah, the he's goal he's never going to get enough yeah. on this but he got it like right on the money it's as you said straight from the coach Emmanuel straight across Far post and the keeper didn't really have a chance and it was critical on the first goal but he didn't have a chance there and it was just a beautiful beautiful <coughs> uh, just a goal a beautiful piece of football that you don't yeah. you don't often see from us yeah I'd sure. agree one hundred percent with the doubt and um, his movement it's kind of something we've been needing because his 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 kind of little runs gave Steve Moore the impotence the the so he gave him uh, kind of the fire in him just to to overlap. Yeah, well, and when he did, that he would drop back in. For exactly, him. He did yeah. Take over, and yeah. it's it's yeah. it's it's so important that you do that when you're play, like one of the disadvantages of, of playing a diamond is that you know width is sometimes is sacrificed. It so that, like, to be fair, both full backs did did push on very well, and mm-hmm. especially in the first half, which was our better half. I I, I did call it diamond as well. So just saying. Yeah, it's, well, it's it's, it's, it, it's one of these a diamond four two three like there, there was, um, we'll, we'll go with a diamond. Um, yeah, well, it was it was a Moiler too. So sometimes Wes didn't didn't track back to, to yeah. himself. You can see he's not. I thought, thought Moiler again was fantastic in he the was. first half. He just gave him that assurance. When, that, when, when they, yeah. that was the only only footy put <laughs> he put wrong, but it could have been it could have been yeah, yeah could yeah. have been a big mistake. I do agree, but other than that, he was he was composed again. He was know? yeah, just just that reassurance. When the lads did push forward, you know he was there. You know he was getting to the ball. Um, 
say. He just swept up. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll argue that he's kind of made that position his own now. Absolutely. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about the team selection a bit later on. But yeah. um, mm. we've tried a lot of players in that in that deepest line position, uh, even over the course of this campaign. Uh, and Myler, for me, and I know you can argue the opposition wasn't the best, but he looked the most assured and the most natural at that well, position. Well, the way I see it is, uh, even against can, Serbia. Yeah. yeah, he was. Even yeah, he Serbia. was. Yeah, but you can't be you can't be putting captain one game, dropping him the next. Yeah, I think he's, that's he's, true. He's, yeah. he's nailed on for the start. Anyway. I think he, I think he is kind of he, he. It's looking that he will stake his claim there. Um, obviously, yeah, they the brought. He's getting a bit leggy now. He's, he's, he's he's good, 30 now, it's, it's that position that you don't need the biggest legs mm, in the yeah. world. Um, yeah, if he, if he is kind of sitting back like a bit, yeah. yeah, definitely, yeah. And he's a FIFA king. He is, yeah, and he keeps like he likes to talk about his soccer game the whole time as well. So. <laughs> nah, he seems like an absolute lad. He does, yeah. yeah. We'll big, have to get him in sometime. He do. He's a, he's a big red as well, so that also oh, doesn't well, it? Yeah. <laughs> we won't even get into that. Right? You have your mug, so yeah, you that's, I'm happy. We gave him an LFC mug for, yes. for his appearance. Yeah. Still blue though, isn't it? Well, uh, <laughs> we're, we're moving into the second half. There's not much like to speak about. Um, didn't touch on Darren Randall's save, world which class. was absolutely world class. World class. And in fairness, he gets a lot of criticism for not doing a lot wrong for Ireland. No, I I, no, I, I not yeah, not for Ireland. He's a fantastic shot stopper. Very, uh, very agile, very athletic. But the only thing is, is his handling. Uh, he, like obviously, we see him more for for uh, when he was at West Ham. He did kind of when he came for crosses, he did flap like there's he puts in flap at a lot. Near post thing, isn't exactly. He? He has yeah, a bit of but remember he flapped his handling for. for, for, for for one pa- ball in the first half as well, oh. he kind of punched it up in the air to himself and caught it back but, again. But for ourselves, you yeah, know, no, he, he, he hasn't put a foot wrong. No, and uh, it's only that one thing against the Uruguay, that was it. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. yeah, and that's a friendly as well. So um, no, for me, he's the mo- he's the number one keeper. Um, At least until the next like, absolutely you, 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 friendlies. Get them blood in Elliot. See what he's like. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know, level, I know yeah. you can you can argue Elliot, Elliot playing in the in the Premier League as a regular, but as you said, now for, for me now is not the time to go mess. Yeah, you don't mess with the back five. This one. We yeah, we were saying we were saying yeah, in the lead yeah. up to the game. Uh, yeah. You just can't because he looks he looks for, he looks very assured as well on the ball. And even in the second half, I thought he can he slipped. Now it's not always the nicest thing to see, but it's that bit of in game intelligence where you know he just slow the game down. You know, he would his distribution and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, no, he's number one choice for me. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. And I liked the way when it, when uh, when they did get when he did make the save. He didn't like get more. He went straight up to the defenders. I mean, like, what the fuck is <laughs> exactly doing? exactly don't yeah. let them shoot. Because, because if we do that against Wales, we're gonna, we're gonna lose. And it's it, there's gonna be far more scenarios like this against a better team like Wales. Yeah. Like they will have that, more kind of shots. That's the on. one negative thing that, that strikes to mind from the first half was the amount of times we got done on the counter attack. I thought they. I thought it was yeah, the, but I think it was the team selection you had or too. I, I don't think mm. you line up the same way. Pro- probably Wales. not. No, I, I don't see him doing playing the diamond again. I, I think it would be just kamikaze. I think he was I just think, going for yeah. safety against them. He wanted to get the goals early. I think he did, did perhaps that yeah, job yeah, done. Perhaps, yeah. I think they went out into the second half and said, like, "Don't kill you, like, don't kill yourselves." Yeah, we're running after. We have a game on Monday. Like job was, done. Was you know, you know, he kind of wanted them to sit back to mm-hmm. kind of close up shop and I was really keep it simple. Yeah, was it just me, or maybe it was just me being overcritical? But I thought the team looked like out on their feet in the second half. I don't know if it's the guys kind of going. Like okay, not fit, like yeah, I thought they looked gassed. A, uh, lot, a lot of people came and said that. Yeah, um, game, so. just um, maybe maybe it's the mental thing of we're playing again Monday night. We have a big game. This game is done. But um, I think it is kind of. I think in an ideal world, um, O'Neill would have made changes early in the game. Like Wes played till seventy five. Um, and there's a couple of other youngsters that he would like to have. Well, that's what that's that's what I was just saying. There, I was pissed off that I I had said in the preview that I would like to see if we were tuning it up, and after sixty minutes, he brings on maybe McGuire or mm-hmm. Hogan to give them an actual run to see how they would do. Like nine, five minutes at the end isn't enough no. to someone to, to to try and make a claim to get him starting position. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, there's no one telling that he's he's, he's definitely going to go with Shane Long and Murphy against Wells, like. Oh. Another, another thing I would, I would be very think, very shocked if he doesn't like well obviously as we've seen kind of reported it was a 42 42 games now for Shane Long without a goal for club yeah but even still um, I thought O'Neill it's his work rate that I think gets him in the team mm-hmm. I, I, I look I would love to see Shane Long <clears> get the goal it's, it's, it, I think it's written for him to score in this game yeah, I, end the I think it, like if we're talking about players coming in, obviously we've spoke to this players coming in on form, rather than merit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shane Long is the biggest player. He's he's the main player who's there on merit for me. I don't think he's done enough for us 
recently I thought he was very poor against Moldova even when like he, even when he was trying like the ball was coming up he started hitting long balls toward him and he, he wouldn't even jump and contest from him he was just backing into the defender the ball was cleared I don't think he's getting the service though in fairness to him the, st- the strangest thing for me was the, the comment that he meant to, to O'Neill as he's going off that he can't buy a goal at the moment and the fact that O'Neill repeated it like it's a strange thing for a manager to say out in public come into such a big yeah. big game um but that's, Seems that, like his confidence that's, is shot. That's why I, 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 I weirdly think he'll get a go. Yeah, like Against something Wales, going in yeah. off his ass. Yeah, like, like I mean, we'll take it. Won't well, we? well, well hopefully, him. hopefully he could use it kind of because there would be a kind of a little bit of negative press about him. So hopefully it does light a fire under him that he yeah. can go out and he can be the man. Hopefully to get in behind with Murphy, Murphy flicking onto him mm. and he should could, write to his missus on uh, on Instagram. Yeah, and yeah absolutely. Him Anathan is worth a go at this rate, isn't it? No, but I don't know. Um, it's just like it's almost become a joke. Like when he missed that one in the second half, the whole stadium was nearly laughing. Uh, it was a bit, it was a bit, a bit surreal. Um, just not what you want going into such an important game. Yeah. Do we go two up front against Wales against that Welsh midfield? I don't know. There's both ways of looking at it. Um, look, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, I just wanted to touch on uh, the substitutes. I just thought, like, what benefit? Is Harry Arthur going to get playing 20 minutes or whatever it was against Moldova? Yeah, it was a strange um, and like, I, I kind of understand the McGeady thing, but I thought if you were going for that McGeady creative thing, you would have started with him. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I didn't see much sense in, in, his, in his subs. And there's players there like Hurahin, who... Probably would have deserved. He would have deserved the shot against maybe Moldova instead of Arthur. I mean, we know what Arthur's about, and he might have been just trying to get him some match fitness. Okay, but we're not playing like against world beaters. He could have brought in Hurhan. Then like it was the ideal game for players like Maguire to get. 15, 20 minutes, like nine minutes. He comes into the game and was the it big even nine. Probably out of time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're probably out of time. But uh, biggest share of the night when he comes on. Yeah, everybody. You could even the after the game in the the post game reactions. Everybody called for Maguire. Everybody wanted to see him. Hogan, not so much. Obviously, uh, you know he's he's not he's not started the best. But Maguire definitely should have got. Is that breath of fresh air? Fresh air Absolutely. I mean, you think back to when McLean came on the scene and stuff yeah. like that. And he, he had one touch, and it was a very good touch as well. Touch. It was a great touch. Yeah. Well, when when you seen kind of Shane Long running off for Maguire, to me it kind of strike that kind of passing of the torch moment. The big hug as well. Possibly, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Um, he's probably just still a bit to go, but yeah, no, it, it delighted for him to to get his big moment and. Yeah. Uh, the the fit the positivity in the field got affected. I can't imagine the balls he has. Oh yeah, he must have been, he must be still shaking. That that it. yeah that Chills. that chair like goosebumps. Yeah, it was great. 100%. It was great. Everybody's standing up clapping as well. Yeah. Oh. Well, the main thing is we got the three points. So agreed. That's it. But at the same time, we're not get as us as fans. We're not getting what we want to see. And these these players are given the chance because. You look at Wales and they're bringing in players like Woodburn and um, Lawrence who scored there the other night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're bringing in these players and they're making a difference. And because they're, cause they're uh, well, I wouldn't say Woodburn's in form, but it's because Chris Collins is not afraid to take a punt on these young Yeah, he young trusts, he trusts, he trusts the, the players he picks. And it's annoying because as <laughs> Steve says, that it's, for someone like me, it seems to be a case where, oh, you're too young until they hit 25 and then he all, all of a sudden he wants to pick you. Wales Hulan is not going to live forever. No, no, certainly not. You know, you might have the fountain of youth on the side, but you know, what I mean, we can't be relying on a thirty-five. I had people in the post-match reaction saying Wes, or sorry, uh, just before the game, saying that Wes is our best player. He's not our best player. He's no, not our best no, player. No, he's not. He can't even. Get he is a great player. player, and he does. He does kind of. He makes us move the ball faster. But as you said, he's thirty-five years of age. Yeah, like, I'm a huge there fan is of players. Him. There is ball-playing players, and Odell to prove that they're ready and they're willing to come in. Yeah, but as I said as before, anyone starts having like jumping down my throat. Uh, I I am a massive fan of Wes, but I I don't think he's their best player. I think he's not. No, I don't think so either. In the squad. He's a great. He's been a great servant, he's and he's been team. a great player. But yeah. I think his performances, even to be fair, if you're being bu- brutally honest, uh, he had he had moments of brilliance in the game on Friday night. Moments of brilliance, like the pass for the the second goal and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But on a, if you kind of if you kind of really go through his performance, he made a lot of mistakes in it, and he looked he doesn't look fit. There were times where he looked like he was kind of sluggish, stopping to catch his breath. Yeah. He was kind of going through the motions. Yeah. Did you not may 
be the fact that he kept them off so long trying to get the match fit. I yeah, I would I would say it was definitely probably on 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 O'Neill's mind. Um But at the same time he never completes ninety minutes. No, he doesn't, no. he doesn't and um it's it's a worry, like he's he's a wonderful player but I'll, I'll what I'm saying is we can't be relying on no. someone who's not getting into a yeah. championship team. Mm, that's what I was about to say. You can't rely on, on someone like that to win you a big game. Yeah. Like for all these worth and I would definitely keep him around the squad and you know, but I I think the time is right to start bleeding in these young players. Like we do have, weirdly enough, we do have a good young bunch uh, of players coming through there. We've got Declan Rice at West Ham. Yeah. West Ham, right? Mm-hmm. We've got Liam Kelly at Reading, mm-hmm. um, who's getting assists galore. Steve's mate, and the Stevens, he, he's uh, getting a lot of assists for Sheffield United. Assists, Maestro, uh, seven or eight, yeah. Yeah. Then we have um, obviously Maguire. We have all these players Brian, coming through. Uh, yeah. Um, you know what I mean? The, I mean, if, uh, you're looking at it and you add this to the likes of Brady's, McLean's and, and all these type of players. We don't have a, a bad, like... It's just important. Future. It's just important that those. But they those, need to get games. We have a we have a pool of talent, but we have a manager who's he's set in his ways. He's a conservative thinker. And, and that pool of players need to be integrated into the first team. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Um, yeah. And like because we, we lack a goal score. We do. Like, can you imagine? Like, it's a, it's a rhetorical question in, in a way, but can you imagine Robbie Keane playing on Friday night there? How many goals he would have got? I know you could just you, movement alone. Yeah, and like Long just doesn't have that movement. Well. Yeah, um, just we don't seem to have that bit of, you know, it's just a little bit of class. And I do think there's enough little bits of class in that bunch of there's five or six young players there really knocking on the door shelf. And after this campaign, it's vital that they're integrated in, or we're going to struggle again where it's just trying to, you know, you have five or six retirements, and then all of a sudden you just yeah. you, need, you need that constant flow, like like as you said, Wales are doing. Um, but yeah, look, Martin O'Neill is there for another couple of years, and we'll, another two years. We'll have to we'll have to live with him. Ho- yeah. Hopefully, we get the result Monday night, and it'll make things a little easier. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, guys, uh, we'll let you guys decide, um, or if you have any arguments, uh, myself, Jonathan, or Phil. Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks, thanks, guys.